Tri-State football here at LaSalle with running back Jeremy Larkin, who set all kinds of records here at LaSalle and for the GCL South, all-time leader in touchdowns everywhere in Southwest Ohio, it seems like. Um, Jeremy, you decided on Northwestern. You changed your mind a little bit midseason. Tell us why you did so and, and why Northwestern. Uh, you know, going through the process, you know, I had to really look at it again and see if this is really best for me. And I felt that Northwestern was the right fit for me as a player and as a student. You know, this is something that I felt like that I needed to be at, a place where I needed to be at and a place I wanted to be at. So that was really why. It's not like UC did anything wrong. It was nothing against them. It was just this is where I wanted to be. Did Jordan Thompson, who's a, a former teammate and a freshman at Northwestern, did he have any influence on your decision? Uh, no, nah, everybody wants to <laughs> Everybody thinks since we're such uh, good friends and everything that he had. But now he was supporting me from when I said I was going to UC and then to where I texted him uh, when I was thinking about change. He said, hey, what do you think about it? You know, he's always there. He doesn't care where I'm at. He's just there to support me no matter what. And that's really what best friends and brothers are there for. That's just to support you for everything. One of the amazing things about your career as a football player here is you played it for three different coaches. I want to talk to you a little bit about each one. Tell us a little bit about what each one meant to you and how they helped influence and, and mold you to where you are. First of all, Coach Grippa. Yeah. Uh, Coach Grippa, you know, I didn't. I got a little bit of him. You know, I was only there for freshman year. You know, he brought me up from freshman to play uh, a little special teams, and I was really thankful for that, just to have that opportunity to get out there and do what I was able to do. You know, and it was really good. Uh, he still teaches here. I still talk to him on a normal basis. You know, I give him. He gives me a couple of advice. I've had him for class. He's a really great guy. There's nothing. There's no hard feelings between him when he had to leave to go to Mount Saint Joe. Now, Nate Moore, your uh, second coach here. Uh, the, uh, Nate, Coach Moore, he really, you know, he really instilled the kind of the foundation a little bit as a football player, as how you need to work and the discipline and what it takes to win a championship. You know, that first year, you people look at the record, we were three and seven, but we still had talent. You know, it was just about getting disciplined. It was his first year trying to fix everything, and you know, just having that background and discipline and foundation of everything really helped us to get that first state championship. So with Coach Moore, he was a really great coach. I really loved him. Uh, great, became great friends with him towards the end. And, you know, it was just sad to see that he had to go for what he had to do for his family and just what was best for him. And, of course, this year you had Coach Hilbert. Tell us yeah. a little bit about him. Uh, my man, Coach Hilbert, you know, <laughs> senior year, you know, it's a, it's a little rocky. You know, you're, you're figuring out your coach just left you as you have for two years and knowing that you got a new coach. And it's just really focused on, you know, playing with him. He, he really instilled, you know, the same discipline, the same work ethic, and the same mentality of winning. You know, he really stressed on going 1-0, and that we've got to stay on top of the mountain every single day, and you got to get better. And he really instilled that, instilled that into us. So playing under him is really fun, and being a great guy he is, and always a guy you can kid around with, is pretty fun to have. And let's talk a little bit about your basketball coach, Coach Fleming, and, and how has he uh, helped you with your football decisions? Uh, you know, he's always there to support us no matter what. You know, he's, he's always there getting on us in basketball you know he's really and he's also helped me through these years you know to take on different coaches you know he's got a tough he's got a short temper he's a very tough coach and he's really fun to play for believe it or not people see him yelling and everything they think he's kind of hard to play for but he's really allowed you to have that discipline as a player as well that's why I love playing for him all four years and he's just a great coach all right, one last question before I let you go. The Larkin Legacy, you're another in a long line of athletes in your family. Yeah. It's a close-knit bunch. Tell us a little bit about who is in your family and what some of the accomplishments that they've had in the past. Uh, well, of course, you know, everybody knows my dad's cousin, Barry Larkin, and what he's done. Even though he went to Moeller, you know. <laughs> <laughs> but, no, everybody knows that he's done being in the Hall of Fame for baseball and all the things he's done. But, you know, the Larkin legacy here at LaSalle has been pre pretty incredible. There's been three of us that come through here. My brothers came through here. He's done really good in basketball. He's now in Memphis playing basketball for Christian Brothers. I've got my cousin Avery who's came in here through here. He just left last year. Uh, he's in a record book for most interceptions in the season. And then just me, you know, being able to come in here, do what we've been able to do, win two state championship as a team, being able to get all those records. And it's just been an incredible legacy I've had here. And I and it's going to be truly missing. I'm gone. There you go. That's Jeremy Larkin, Northwestern. You're getting one of the best in the city.